Howdy folks. Let's go over how to set up Babel with WebDriver IO. What Babel does is allow us to write the latest and greatest JavaScript code right now. And what it does is it compiles it down to readable code for whatever environment we're going to run it against. In our case, we're going to be running it against Node. If we go over to the WebDriver IO docs, it has pretty good details of how to actually set this up. So we're going to go right off of this. So let's just copy and paste this. We mainly need to set up the Babel CLI and Babel preset. Babel CLI is, is it's a command line tool to compile our current files down to um, the old JavaScript base, basically. Um, Babel preset tells us what what do we want to compile our code down to? In our case, we want to do it to the current node. If you're using during front-end development, you are going to want to compile it down to um, like browser versions. So if you want to target like IE10, you would it would compile your, your code down to IE10. Um, so we have this, we have that installed now. So let's actually set up our environment for what we're going to compile it down to. And for this, we need to add a Babel RC file. If you look here. This is our preset. So you can see we're setting the target to node in the current version. If you're doing front-end development, you would have this set to, I don't know, different browsers that you want to talk, target. So let's, let's create that file. All right. And let's just paste that in. And you can actually, if you wanted to like compile this compile everything, you could remove the um, the actual targets there, and I'll just compile everything that, down to the latest and greatest JavaScript. But we don't need to do that because that, that'll, you don't want to do that a lot of times because that'll just take time. So let's just, let's do that, save it, and we're good. So now all we really have to do is require Babel register inside our config file. Let's do that inside the before hook. So where is the before hook? All right, here it is. So now we can require So now we should be able to use the latest JavaScript. Um, the main thing you'll want to do since node supports a lot of the latest um, is import statements. So you'll see a lot of times you'll require do a require here where if you're using Babel, we can use import statements. Uh, so we can do that. So now this should work. And we'll sh I'll show it failing too. But now let's run our code. And so it worked. So let's let's actually let's comment this out to see what happens if we don't require Babel. You see it failed. And that's not what we want. So let me set it up. So let's basically see how you set set it up. You can also set it up if you're using Mocha, you can set it up a different way and specify it in the compiler.